today at Top View, I'm gonna give you my top 10 of the game of the year that really impressed me. Actually, it has been today one year exactly since I started reviewing games and I wanted to tell you which one I was really impressed for many different reasons or the theme or the strategy or the fact that we just did really enjoyed it. So let's start. So in 10th position, it's Cold Express and the reason is because I love the theme. Um, everything fit the Western theme. I bought the, the mat because it gives a better game. Uh, the fact that we have a, a sound uh, on that you can find the sound on YouTube and to give it more of a, of a feeling of the Western, it's amazing. The pieces are great. I mean, everything in this game, I really loved it. I loved it for younger kids. Yes, maybe eight years and older, not under that. And the fact that it's a game that we can play with our kids and with adults and it's enjoyable for both. I really uh, enjoy Cult Express and that's why it's in 10th position. So in ninth position is Jamaica and Jamaica the crew the extension. So both games I really keep them in my bookshelf and the reason is the theme is amazing. So the game is it's a race around Jamaica Island and the pieces that you have in there the gold coins the the boats and the cars everything it's amazing. It's a simple game not complicated for younger kids but something that we can enjoy. The fact that it's a race is great. The fact that we have the extension, I think it brings something new and interesting to the game. I really love Jamaica. It's a little uh, on the long side, maybe 45 minutes, but uh, you have to try it because Jamaica is something I keep it. In eighth position is high. I always keep it for the fact that it replaces chess. It's a great game where in the fact that it's very simple, the insects look amazing, the piece are really of good quality. I think it's a good strategy game to start for very young kids, even seven years old, trying to um, bring them to the, the feel of the chess, but with something fun and, and very beautiful. So I really love Hive. I will always keep it in my top 10, will always keep it in my bookshelf. So in seventh position is Camelop and I love this game because again the team it's amazing it's a race a camel race uh, if you open the board you see this amazing palm tree uh, getting out from the board in 3d it's very nice it's a race where you don't really control the camels and, and you bet on the camel so it's really a game where you get excited which camel is gonna arrive first which one is not gonna arrive and we have the two crazy camels who's going backwards it's very an interesting game the team is amazing so it's an Egyptian team and everything works really well the fact that we are shaking the dice in the pyramid it's great so very nice game for that nice game for adults as well and it's a nice game to share with our kids so in number six is stone age junior i think again this game it has a nice theme it's a game really for five to nine ten years old it's a game that introduce the kids to strategy game resource game i think the kids they love to go pick up the the small uh, berries and, and the the arrows and things like this all the components are great i think the game looks amazing when you get it out and it makes the kids feel like they are uh, doing a, a, an amazing game and a big game although it's very simple there's a memory part in that game and it's just beautiful to play with place is zombie kids evolution it's another game that i keep with me at home uh, i love the, this game because it's a cooperative game for younger kids so it's really fun to have everybody participating even the adults trying to stop the zombies from entering the school it's really really nice it's simple as well uh, the part of the evolution it's very nice to where we pick up an envelope and in the envelope we have extra rules extra difficulties and that makes the game very interesting and the game lasts for very long where we don't get bored and we really enjoy it uh, to have more difficulty so i do recommend uh, zombie kids evolution you try it you tell me what you think 
Junk Art Express at the beginning, not so much. It's a dexterity game and I thought, okay, what is the difference with this one and the others? Uh, but this one, I had to play the second day because it was still in my mind. Say, let's play again and let's play again. The, the, the pieces are amazing. The colors, the fact that they go in together in one another. It's really, really nice to see. There's a part of a strategy game in it. There's a part where if you put uh, two colors side by side, you gain more points. So there's a bit of strategy and a bit of dexterity in that game. So it's really enjoyable. So in third position, Carambolage. Actually, I know this game doesn't look like it when we look at it. And even when I opened the box for the first time, I said, oh my God, what is that? It's not because of the component that I love this game. It's because of the fun we had, like the kids and the adults. We had so much fun playing that game. We removed the chairs, we turned around the table, we tried to, to make the points and we really enjoyed it. I mean, we played for two and three days for multiple hours every day. So this is really a game, yes, it's the dexterity game, but everybody enjoyed it. We even played with the grandparents and really had a good time. So that's why it's in third place. So in second position, Rhino Hero, again another Ahaba game. They really do make nice game for kids. And this one, I was impressed where I really did enjoy this game, even for me. I mean, we were on the table, we climbed on the chairs, we we played on the floor because the, the tower was going was getting so big and so high and you get excited and you see the towers going left and right and you you're stressed out and you have to move your rhino and everybody really did enjoy this game it's simple it's cards it's a small rhino but we really did enjoy it and yes there's a small part of strategy in it where you decide which card you put for your opponent but other than that, it's just so much fun for everyone. And finally, in first place in the game that really, really impressed me this year is Outfox. And you go have a look at the video I made earlier about it. This game, I think, has everything in it. The components are great. The idea behind the game where you it's a cooperative game where you have to find the thief who stole the, the pie and you have to deduct and this game is great for kids from five to nine and ten years old older maybe it's a little too much but everything in this game the gadget they use so you you can deduct uh, does the the suspect have a hat does the suspect have a, a, a cane and all of this is so well done the component everything is great i was really really impressed by that game you go have a look, you try it, you will never be disappointed with Outfox. So my final thoughts, I made a top 10 and frankly, I could have put all of them together and reorganized it because I think those 10 games, you need to have it in your bookshelf. This sometimes one game we want to play longer, sometimes a game we need to be more serious, a game we want to scream and climb and run. And so I think these 10 games are really games that adults and kids enjoy playing together. It's, I know some games that we have for younger kids, sometimes we just watch them or play for them. However, these 10 games, I think everybody's gonna enjoy it, adults and kids. So that's my top 10 for today. See you later.